So the next question says, uh, why is the PPF bowed outward? What would it mean if the PPF were bowed inward? Uh, clearly explain your answer. Um, and so uh, we're going to draw what uh, the PPF is. So remember, the PPF refers to the production possibilities frontier. And um, what, what it usually operates in is what we know as the uh, two good mo uh, model, where we assume there's only two goods in the economy, good X, or let's call the other one good X. This is good Y and good X. And so you're in a supplier's position where you can either devote resources to producing good X or good Y or a combination of both. And the production possibilities frontier depicts all the possible combinations of production that you can accomplish uh, along the spectrum between good, good Y and good X. And so um, the PPF is normally depicted as bowed outward. And uh, that is really explained by something known as increasing opportunity costs. And so it basically says that as you increase more and more of your production of one good, you have to give up more and more of your production uh, of the other good, even marginally. And so your opportunity cost is increasing. And so we can uh, look at this from the extreme to kind of explain this idea of increasing opportunity costs. Um, for the first uh, part, uh, let's say you're producing zero of good X and only good Y. So you, you're devoting all these resources to uh, the production of, of good Y, and you can produce, uh, let's say, 10 units, right? And then let's say you suddenly want to uh, step up your production of good X, and you want to move to a uh, point in time in which you are going to be able to produce more of good uh, X instead of good Y, and so you want to up your production to one unit of good X. And so you get, let's say, this over here as your production point. So uh, let's say now you're at good one, and let's say you only had to, you had to give up, you can see here, very marginally your uh, any production of good Y in order to get to good X, right? That first unit of good X costs you almost nothing in terms of your production of good Y. Now let's say you want to move to a second unit of good X. Now, Now we can see you're, you're dropping maybe to a, 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 a production of nine when you're producing that second unit of good X, right? And we can do one more unit just to depict the, the increasing opportunity cost. Let's say you, you want to go to the three units of good X, right? And so we can see here, you might have to give up three units of, of uh, good Y in order to get one more unit of good X moving from two to three. And so we can see here that as we continue to go along the PPF, the opportunity cost of continuing to produce one of the goods is increasing because you have to give up more and more of the other good in order to achieve that production level. So that's the trade-off you have between using resources between these two goods. And so, uh, you know, that, that increasing opportunity cost is why the, the PPF is bowed outward. And the, the reason we have increasing opportunity cost is oftentimes because resources are not perfectly suited towards the production of both goods, right? So we can think of a situation in which we're producing two very different goods. Let's say we're producing corn and, and cars, right? Um, if we're producing cars, there are certain resources that are going to be way better suited to, to, to the production of cars rather than corn. For example, um, the use of steel or the use of, of uh, I don't know, uh, engine blocks, right, is going to be much more uh, better utilized towards producing cars than it is towards producing corn. I can't even really imagine a situation in which you'd be using it, you know, engine blocks in the production of corn, right? And so um, it makes more sense for those resources to be devoted towards uh, the appropriate ones that uh, they are suited for. However, as you approach the extremes of production, you're starting to use all of your resources, even the ones that aren't perfectly suited towards a certain goods production, to produce that good. So we can imagine if we're producing only good Y, which let's call corn, that means not only are we using the, the appropriate um, resources like land or labor or... Uh, I don't know, um, seeds or water, 
Those are all things that we would normally think of as suited towards producing corn. Uh, and we are using those resources to produce corn, but because we're only producing corn, we're also using the rest of our resources like uh, engine blocks and steel and, and factories and rubber, right? And so those are things that are normally produced, used for cars, but because we're only producing corn, we have to use those resources a little bit less efficiently in producing good Y corn instead of good X cars, right? And so that's going to be inefficient. And so once we want to move from a point in time when we're producing only corn to a point in time where we're producing one unit of cars, you don't have to give up that much in terms of your corn production in order to get that first unit of corn it's because what you're really taking away is the resources that are already better suited towards producing cars anyways. So you're using those engine blocks and using that steel to produce that car and that doesn't really re decrease your ability to produce corn either and that's why your first unit of opportunity cost is so low. But as you take away more and more units away from corn production towards car production, you run into that problem where now you're taking away not only the car suited resources, but also the core suited resources like land and water and, and seas somehow, right? And so that's going to start cutting into your production of corn more and more. And that's why those, in, those opportunity costs are going to be increasing over time. So that's, that's the rationale for why we have increasing opportunity costs. And the fact that we have increasing opportunity costs explains why the PPF is bad outwork. Next, the question asks, what would it mean if the PPF were about inward? And that would mean that there is a uh, kind of a uh, decreasing opportunity cost as you increase production. And so um, that would just flip the relationship. And so instead of saying as you produce more and more of a good, you have a decreasing opportunity cost. It's saying that you actually have an, uh, so instead of saying you have an increasing opportunity cost, it's saying that you now have a decreasing opportunity cost. And so um, that's really going to be what we're looking for in the correct answer. So let's take a look at what the previous tutor said. And the previous tutor said, the PPF assumes that all resources are fully utilized and therefore explains the possible combination to production of two goods using these resources. It therefore shows the trade-off involved in shifting resources from one good to another. When the PPF is bowed outward or concave to the origin, it shows increasing opportunity costs. That is, with an increase in production of one good, opportunity cost of the other good increases. When the PPF is bowed inward or convex to origin, it shows an opportunity cost that decreases with an increase in the quantity of other goods. Or the ratios of one good sacrifice for the production of another good, you know, another good, also called the PPF slope or the marginal rate of transformation, decreases when the PPF is bowed inwardly. So yeah, that seems like a good answer. It covers both the uh, increasing opportunity cost rationale and also the decreasing opportunity cost rationale. So there's no issues with this, uh, this, uh, this answer. Let's take a look.